flowering trees are very valuable in the landscape. We have a lot of spring flowering trees like the red buds, the dogwoods, and the crab apples. And then in the summertime, we have flowering trees like the catalpa, the desert willow, and the panicled golden rain tree. But we don't have a lot of fall flowering trees. Well, right here, we've got an example of a tree that blooms in the fall. This is known as the bougainvillea golden rain tree, and it's quite a bit different than the earlier flowering panicled golden rain tree. You can see the inflorescence here with these beautiful yellow flowers. I mean, it's easily 20 inches long, maybe even longer than that. Right over here, we've got one where the flowers are opened up a little bit more, and uh, beautiful yellow. You can see a little bit of orange down in the flowers as well, but uh, makes a great show in August and September. And uh, here in September, you can see how well this Bougainvillea Golden Rain Tree is flowering. Now, I want to show you a little bit of the differences between the earlier flowering, panicled Golden Rain Tree, and this one. And uh, the main difference, of course, is the time of the year that they flower, this one being a lot later. And this one, you can see, it's already got the seed pods on it, bloomed back in May and June. But uh, just looking at the leaves, and when I say leaves, I mean a single leaf, like we got right here. This is one leaf of the panicled golden rain tree. You know, pick a leaf of the bougainvillea, and you can see the great difference. And again, just to uh, let you know, these are compound leaves. This is a single leaf. This is a single leaf made up of several leaflets. This one is once compound. It's got the one rachis. The bougainvillea, or later flowering golden rain tree, it's twice compound. It's got a branched rachis and more leaflets. But uh, the leaves, another big difference, later flowering. Another difference is in the fruit. You can see the earlier flowering golden rain tree has these brown pods. And after the plant flowers, it has also the yellow flowers. But after it flowers, these seed pods will be sort of a greenish yellow, and then they turn to brown. And over here, you can see another great difference. The fruit of the bougainvillea rain tree, golden rain tree, is a lot showier. And again, just kind of comparing the two, a lot more color and a little bit different shape. And whereas these go to this brown color, these will turn pink. And if these are harvested while they're pink, and they're set out to dry, they will retain that pink color for quite a while. And I've got a branch of a true bougainvillea right back here. And of course, it's not quite as colorful as the true bougainvillea, but uh, you can kind of see how the plant sort of gets its name, just the way the, the way those, those flowers sort of hang. The papery flowers of the bougainvillea sort of remind folks of the papery seed pods of the bougainvillea golden rain tree. Another difference in the two rain trees is that the panicled golden rain tree, the one that flowers earlier, is a little bit smaller tree. It only gets to be about 30 feet tall, whereas the bougainvillea golden rain tree can get a little bit taller, maybe, maybe 40, 50 feet tall. Now, these aren't quite as common in Oklahoma as the earlier flowering golden rain tree. And one reason is because they're not quite as winter hardy. These are listed for zone seven. And you can see how this one here in our, near our studio garden has done quite well. It's getting probably close to 15, 20 feet tall and been here for a few years. But a great tree maybe for the southern part of Oklahoma or maybe even the central part. Now, if the uh, tree experiences some winter dieback, maybe some of the uh, limbs have a little bit of winter kill, you don't have to worry about not getting any flowers because they do flower on new growth. So if you have some winter dieback, it's not going to hurt the flower production. These plants are fairly durable. They can grow in acidic as well as alkaline soils. They prefer a well-drained soil, but can perform quite well in a clay-type soil as well. But uh, well-drained soil is going to be the best soil for the bougainvillea golden rain tree. The trees are a little bit weak-wooded, so whenever they're young, it's a good idea to make sure we do some 
pruning to eliminate any double leaders, anything that might cause any splitting later on, and just kind of train the tree a little bit to develop into a nice, strong canopy tree. The Bougainvillea Golden Rain Tree, one of the few fall flowering species of trees.